afternoon to let all Minnesotans know that this year, politics as usual around this place is over. First, let me uh, welcome the legislators from the Republican caucuses that are with me here this afternoon. We had meetings with the caucuses as a whole over the last couple of hours, both the House and Senate caucus, and they were uh, good and positive meetings. And of course, we're joined by the minority leaders, David Sengem and Marty Seifert, as well as many other uh, Republican legislators uh, this afternoon. We appreciate their work, their the executive powers to do it without them uh, starting tonight. Uh, well, we're not, I'm not going to get into the details of this because that's for another day and another time. We're still working through all of that, but as, at least as a general category, there's going to be some impact in health and human services, which consists of welfare, social service, and publicly subsidized health care, at least some aspects of that, as well as uh, local government aids and credits. Uh, probably a little bit in higher ed. We'll try to uh, mimic the effects of the sh uh, shift for K-12 so they're not actually out the money. Eventually they'll just have payments uh, uh, deferred. But that's uh, kind of a sketch of where this is headed. We can't recreate my budget exactly, but working off the structure that they've given us, um, we will, you'll see some similarities. Uh, we'll do it on our own. I'll use executive action backed up by my Republican friends here. Uh, to do it on our own.